Well, once again, out there making another great day, and today I am at the Florida Botanical Gardens. They have a big welcome sign here. And from the parking lot, there's not too many people here, but they are open. Not too many people here, but we're gonna social distance. We're gonna look at some flowers and some fresh air. I've been cooped up inside the apartment so long. Uh, it's good to get out just for a little drive. Not, I don't want to around nobody. Um, and hopefully this will be a relaxing time to get away from some of the crazy stuff being posted and things of uh, where the world has gone mad. Um, this particular state uh, is not on lockdown, which surprises me, but uh, you got states that don't have much of an outbreak on lockdown. I don't get the logic in that, but as long as you're staying away from people, washing your hands, watching what you touch, and um, you should be fine. Uh, don't panic. I'm not panicking. I'm going to go enjoy the beautiful flowers on this beautiful spring day. Of course, it's been spring for months here. It's always beautiful here in Florida, and uh, we're going to go look around. We've been here before many times. I always like coming here, and it is free to come in here. They're open from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, every day. So uh, it's, uh, it's not too hot, and it's not too cold. And we're going to go check out this beautiful day and a beautiful walk through the gardens here at Florida Botanical Gardens right now. Right there on the floor, Gigi. Where are you going in such a hurry, boy? Not even a slight bit of mild nudity. Hey everybody, this is John Schneider. We are the Grab Rack Brothers from the Planet Fuckle Tom. Hey, this is Butch Patrick from the Munsters. I'm going to put you out of the jail and throw away a key. Make it a, Make great, it a great day. Because yeah. you deserve it. Yes, you, you do. You deserve it. You deserve a great day. Not a lot of cars in the parking lot here at Florida Botanical Garden around noonish here on a Tuesday. I did notice they have a park and plug thing here for those cars that need uh, plugged in, you know, with the old battery. Well, there's nothing like wandering around back through into the woods of the Florida Botanical Gardens. Not a soul in sight. I've got the place to myself. I wonder if there's any bears out here in the woods. Charmin bears, maybe. This is definitely a sight you don't normally see at Florida Botanical Gardens. Last time I was here, it was Christmas. It was packed with people. Nobody to be found. This is the soggy marsh here. I wonder if there's any gators out there, or they're all quarantined. I'm not sure. Found this uh, interesting sculpture here. It's an assemblage of diverse stainless steel objects, including everything from kitchen paraphernalia to hubcaps. And this did catch my eye. Uh, to say the least, I haven't seen this one before. This must be new. So, uh, it's cool to come out and find these new items. I see a coffee pot. That's an old coffee pot. Uh, all kinds of items on this. Even a spoon. By the way, the Florida Botanical Gardens is celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. Now the palm trees are blowing in the wind. There's a few people here on people and over here I found a big fish a big fish it says that this big fish is made out of all kinds of transmission parts welded together Ooh, I wonder if that was one of the transmissions on the General Lee you never know it could be that's an oversized paperweight we're getting ready to enter their wedding garden no weddings going on today their social distancing, possibly more divorces. Well, it does look like the jazz garden is going to get jazzed up with a little construction because they have got some construction, I think, going on. This here is called a white powder puff tree. I'm looking for the toilet paper tree. I wonder if they have any of those. Some inspirational words here on the pavement. Love is the flower of life. And uh, it is a beautiful day. 
beautiful, beautiful. Figured today would be a good day to come out and smell the roses, you know. They have some beautiful pink roses here, and they also have a few red roses. Roses are in bloom here, and so's the wind. And uh, nothing like a big red rose to brighten your day, right? And it brings a lot of, they say, joy. This is called a pod of carpus. I wonder if it's related to the iPod. Not sure. This is the topiary garden. There for a minute I thought I'd found a toilet tissue tree. Those could be used for that. Uh, you know, if you're in desperate, I think these here might work a lot better than uh, those other palms. These, Tarzan probably used these for toilet tissue. I wouldn't doubt it. Him and Cheetah. They call on this a tropical walk, and it's definitely a tropical walk. They have all kinds of tropical plants and trees and all kinds of things growing around here. There's even a babbling brook here, waterfall and all, into a wishing well. If I had a coin, I'd wish for some toilet tissue. Now I have toilet tissue. This tree here, it also would be good toilet tissue look at the leaves on that Get a lot of wipes with those I think this one here could possibly be the perfect piece of toilet tissue one big gigantic leaf who needs a square when you got one that big and of course they have all kinds of beautiful flowers I always like coming here looking at all the flowers I like the purple ones myself all these beautiful purple flowers and the white ones and they go and go and go and you just walk and enjoy the breeze if you please I always like this piece of rock work here you never can't get in here to look at it because there's always people there's no one here now not a lot I think this is the King Kong jumbo tissue size right here those could definitely be used. Little water fountain here on this side and part of this uh, little uh, pond. I haven't seen any alligators. I've seen some birds and squirrels. And you also want to social distance from the wildlife because there's alligators and snakes and wolves. Oh my. Well, I have found another sculpture and this is a horse. It's a uh, a free-flowing gestural sculpture made primarily of fenders and crumpled auto body sheet metal. Uh, and in an accident, your car could be in this sculpture. That's pretty cool. You know, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. But without a fender, he doesn't have a butt. Look at the fender on this horse. It's uh, even his tail could be the exhaust you know but pretty cool that they have took old parts looks like an old electrical electrical box there with an electrical switch for his eye pretty darn neat that uh, ooh, he's got a scary eye on this side uh, quite interesting I like stuff like this and what you don't find when you go out Sure is a sleepy little town here, isn't it, Pilgrim? It looks like the Old West. Lots of cactus. Do they have any cactus juice? There's cactus here galore, growing in so many different directions and ways. This one here is growing up the side of a tree. I found this interesting. It's called the mouse trap tree. And uh, pretty neat. I think that's what they call this. It's got a lot of yeller yeller flowers there it's amazing that they have to put on the sign some of the language i get do not feed but do not feed or molest i tell you right now if you're trying to molest an alligator you are a sick individual well i have found some banana trees and there's some bananas on there they look a little green though I wonder how many people's tried to take those. I will not. Do not touch that. 
And here's some with more bananas coming out. Lots of bananas here. There's baby bananas. This is where bananas are born on a banana tree. I just thought of something. <laughs> that would be a big wipe, wouldn't it? That, you could wipe for a week with that. Going into the herb garden. Not herb tarlic or anybody like that. Peaches and herb? Never know. It's a beautiful painted barrel up here. I see legal herbs is all I see. There's even a gazebo out here where you can self-isolate. You can go right in here and do some self-isolation. No more than 10 people though, please. This tree is called the Kapok. That looks like them words that came up on the screen on Batman, Kapok. Uh, it's an interesting tree, to say the least. Branches going all different directions and a big, big trunk. Lots of uh, space to eat here at this, this park. Standing room only. It is a beautiful day here at the Florida Botanical Gardens. Love just taking a little stroll and looking at the trees, palm trees and the flowers. No people. Found another self-isolation tent. Got a picnic table on this one. You could come out here and have a picnic lunch for one. That would be nice. They just have so much growing out here and so many signs on what is growing. You'd never read it all. I can't. This looks like a good self-isolation booth. They've got seats on both sides. Little wooden deck here. Plenty of seating to sit here underneath the trees and just relax. Take all the sight in here of this beautiful garden. They have a butterfly garden here. I don't see too many butterflies. I thought we might. The butterflies only live not long, a day or two. I see one flying. Not only butterflies, but I found one of those lizards. It is a lizard. I see these at home all the time, crawling up the front of my door and everything. Well, I finally found somewhat of some orange flowers. I like orange for obvious reasons. Oh, a little bit of a breeze. I've been walking around the Florida Botanical Gardens. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. Seen some pretty butterflies. You couldn't see them that well, but uh, it's been a nice little nature walk for free. And uh, it does beat looking at some of the craziness going on, some of the doom and gloom posts that people are making and stirring the pot. Don't do that. Stop panicking. Stop causing people to panic. We're all going to be all right. Wash your hands after you use the restroom and use that toilet paper. We are learning how to do that now. That's a plus. Who thought nobody knew how to do that? Unbelievable. Uh, they will get it restocked. Just uh, give them time. Uh, I'm good. But... Um, I'm hot and maybe I'm going to go get some takeout and take it, I'm not taking it out, I'm going to take it in to my apartment and eat it and then uh, eat, sleep and repeat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Heritage Village next door is closed and it's only due because they considered a museum and they people going in and out of the buildings can touch things so that's why that is closed unfortunately uh, well fortunately that the Florida Botanical Gardens is open only because it's a nature park and mostly flowers and trees you're not going to be touching a lot of stuff don't touch nobody else either uh, keep your hands to yourself as they say and self-isolate 
we're not on lockdown down here in Florida, but those of you are on lockdown in states that don't have anything to do outside anyways, now you can do that inside nothing, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, here we do have things to do outside, so it is a little harder for us uh, to stay inside and do nothing when we always have something to do outside. Unfortunately, that's not the case. A lot of stuff shut down. Support your local restaurants. Go get that takeout. You're not going to get sick by doing that. You're not going to catch nothing there. And uh, I, I mean, there's so many things that uh, kind of tick me off of some of this stuff. I could be, go on and on and on and on about things that people have misconceptions, false information, freaking out over something that shouldn't be really freaking totally out on. It is serious, but um, a lot of the posts and a lot of the feeds and a lot of the people are fueling the fire to make people with no common sense freak out. Have common sense. That's something that is never gonna return. This does have a 97% survival rate. Um, learn math. Do the math, folks. Look how many people's in your state. Look how many cases there is. It doesn't take a rocket science to figure this out. So, you might not like what I say. You might. Sometimes I'm right, and sometimes I'm wrong, as they say. And uh, that's a lot of the information going on out there. Sometimes they're right, and sometimes they're wrong. Well, more wrong than right, but... Um, Hopefully one day we'll get to go and explore a festival again. I'm looking forward to that. I have another video that I did a few weeks back before everyone went mad. Uh, and I had still lost my voice. My voice has miraculously last since it started. My voice has been just fine. Imagine that. Um, but I do have a restaurant review I'm going to eventually put up um, that I did over in Tampa. And I'm, a, I'm obviously... I ate inside during this video, so don't be posting negative stuff when I do post it. Uh, that I'm inside eating in a restaurant, and oh my God. Well, this was shot before all this stuff started. So I still have it. And uh, then I didn't upload it due to everything going on. So uh, I'm assuming they, uh, that restaurant is probably doing takeout. Um, but hopefully I'll, maybe I'll upload that next week. Maybe we'll look back on some things we've did in the past. Who knows? I uh, appreciate you subscribing. If you hit the, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you watching. I am very thankful for each and every one of you watching. And um, try to love one another. Be kind to one another. Wash your hands. And go by the CDC guidelines and you will be fine. We're going to be fine. And... Um, I know it's hard, but keep going out there making it a great day the best way you know how because you deserve it.